When Hurricane Sandy blew into Portland last week, the city activated its Emergency Operations Center to coordinate the city's response to the storm. Acting Fire Chief Stephen Smith talked about how the center works to keep Portland's residents safe. What goes on in this room during an emergency? Um, this is the Portland Emergency Operations Center. Um, this is the place where we coordinate uh, our response to any emergency uh, of significance, um, storms, uh, it would be fire, uh, significant fire, um, or when we're co coordinating activities with outside agencies or uh, other communities. And who is in the room here? What departments are here? Uh, we have currently have uh, representatives of the police department, um, fire department, obviously. Um, the dispatch center, we've got somebody from the manager's office. Uh, we have somebody from finance and uh, the, we have somebody from uh, public services. Is it uh, executives, operational people, a mix of both? Um, it's mostly uh, the decision makers. Uh, depending on the event, we'll have people that will uh, go to different areas. Um, we will do a response uh, capability from here. Uh, we'll manage that. We'll also have the, the uh, decision makers that uh, coordinate the overall picture. Um, the, the response people will in turn pet turn that out to the people that are in the field um, and then we'll, we'll get the information back here so we'll be able to track what's going on uh, as, as the event changes and uh, coordinate some sort of a response to, to things as they happen. And what kind of decisions do they need to make here? Is it uh, whether ships come into the harbor, whether does it close the airport? What sort of things do you decide it, here? It could be all of those things. We uh, actually were t had somebody from the uh, airport here a while ago. Uh, they have left, uh, but they, there would be somebody from the airport. There, uh, we could actually have somebody from, uh, uh, or at least interacting with the Coast Guard if that became necessary. Um, we could, uh, we could be. Uh, making decisions on whether an evacuation was needed. There could be evac uh, decisions on uh, any any type of uh, any of the response components that you know may be needed uh, depending on the situation. And what type of information comes into this room, and where does it come from? Um, we have all of our 911 calls that are uh, uh, called into our dispatch center. Uh, we track them here. We track our response here. Um, we can actually see real time what's going on in the field. Um, we can we know where they are, what they're doing. Um, we also have the capability to track uh, some of the non-emergency things that may affect our responses, such as uh, trees that have come down that are not necessarily of of uh, taking wires down or, or impacted traffic, but still uh, might show us things that are happening in a, in a specific area where we've had two or three trees come down and now we're starting to have ones that come down that are impacting some of the emergency services. Now, uh, for example, if a tree comes down and you get a report about that, do you end up calling CMP about that or do you wait for, is there another mechanism that they find out about it? Um, they may have already called CMP or uh, we, we certainly will call them. Um, that's part of the dispatch center's responsibilities is uh, they'll notify whoever needs to be notified as things uh, transpire. Um, CMP may not be responding to the event uh, immediately um, and in that case we'll probably send uh, uh, equipment out there where they'll, they'll tape off an area and try to secure it uh, and keep people away from it um, before they move on to the next event. We're here during the emergency operation for Hurricane Sandy. Does the city have a weather service that it relies on? Um, we usually use the National Weather Service in Gray, Maine. Um, they gives us probably the most up-to-date and accurate information. Um, so you know, we, we depend on them pretty well. And do you coordinate with outside agencies, for example, the State Emergency Operations Center or FEMA or something like that? Um, we do, do most of our coordination with Cumberland County Emergency Management and uh, uh, Maine Emergency Management in Augusta. Um, we'll have conference calls with both of those entities, um, try to coordinate what we're doing so that everybody knows what's going on and what, uh, who's being impacted by uh, these, the, the event as it, as it changes. And during an emergency like this, if a citizen sees a dangerous situation, a down power line, a down tree, a flooded road, what's the best way for them to get information to you? Um, it, just as any other time, uh, the 911 system uh, is, is by far your best uh, route to get information to us. 
Um, we, you know, with the, the, we have the capability to answer most of the calls quickly, um, and we'll get somebody moving on it as, as soon as we can. Um, when you have storms that are fairly significant like this, um, we may have some calls that start to back up a little bit, but we, like I said before, with the power lines down and things like that, we'll try to secure the area and then move on to the next call.